Hello everybody, Average Arcader here. Today I'm going to be doing another pre-made base review slash let's play. This one is going to be on the Underground Lava Base by Razzleberries. This is not a brand new mod. It's been around for a while, but it is currently, as of this, the making of this video on sale for the summer sale. So I wanted to go ahead and give it a check out and review. Um, the last time I did a base review, it turned out pretty well. Uh, you guys liked it, so I want to keep doing them. So let's go ahead and get this started. I happen to really like Razzleberries. They make, they make a lot of good uh, maps for you just simply to explore. And I do like, I am liking these base mods. Okay. Oh, now the one thing I forgot to do for the last one is check out the surrounding area. See how good the seed is. We'll do that after we get done exploring the base itself. All right. Open. Aha. I was wondering how you would get out there. Oh, you can close the bridge and close the door. Sweet. Okay, so this is like a little crafting area. If you don't want to have to go all the way down. Alright, it's pretty smart to put it here. You got your storage from coming out from exploring or you know, uh, farming things. You can work on it right here. Sweet. What do we got here? Ah, a little farm. Ah, more storage. Yeah, I'm really liking these. These are perfect for if you just want to just start, you know, play a normal playthrough. And don't have to worry about making a base. I love building my bases, but it would be nice to do a couple playthroughs of a survival. Uh, where all I have to do is just, you know, go out, explore build like craft a couple tools and stuff like that and not have to worry about the base it's a little library area should be a crap I know there's an enchanting table around here somewhere I mean, it's very, very versatile. It's all over. Oh, more storage. Oh, wait. Oh, that's the same one. I just missed this ladder the first time. Free pool. I love it. I love it. Ah, here's the enchanting room. Perfect. We went 
up there for storage. Enchanting room. Well, there's a lower thing there, but before I go down there, let's go over here. Armory. I knew it as soon as I saw these. You can come and put all your different suits of uh, armor in here. bottom now and we have our own nether portal so we've got a bed we're pretty much it's pretty much ready to go the only thing we got to do is start mining I'm surprised it doesn't have a mine set up or did I miss it Okay, that's pretty much everything in the base. It's a nice little base. Open bridge. I love it. All right, let's take a look around to see what type of Seed we've got here. I should have done it on creative so I could fly around. Next time I do a review of one of these, I will do it on creative so that I can fly around and go through everything easy. Now, I know that that right there is custom made. I'm not sure if the seed is too. I think the seed's probably just a random seed they chose. You know, hang on. You know what, guys? I am going to switch to creative. Yeah, I am going to switch to creative real quick so that uh, we can actually fly around and get a good look at this seed. I'll be right back. Well, it'll be quick for you guys. Be long for me. Okay, guys, we are back. And now we are in creative so that we can actually fly around. Okay, let's see what this seed looks like. Mmm, that's a lot better. Well, looks like we've got a couple close villages not too far away. Decent amount of biomes, normal woods area. little village here it's 
Cleaning potential. Ah, another village right over here. And then straight out, there's a desert village. I can see just the tips of it spawning in there. Oh, there's a desert temple over there, too. Wait, two desert temples, it looks like. There's one here. There's a temple there, and then straight out, there's another one. That's a good, that's a good... It's pretty cool to start out. Wait, oh, whoa, three. There's another one right there. Okay, that's three desert temples. Back to back. That's pretty cool. Ah, we have a pillager tower. Wow, right next to a village. <laughs> Interesting. All right, that's pretty, wait, four. There's another one over there. I can just see it. Wow, that's four desert temples back to back. Those are, and these are not hard to get to. You literally have to just follow the line of them. And the hidden base is just like over this way. Hang on, let's go back to it. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool to have four of them pretty much lined up. You find one, just keep going. They're all in the same little desert area over here. That's an abandoned village right here. Like some spider webs. I'm taking my time because I still don't I want to make sure I'm not missing anything else. That's pretty cool. I mean a spawn with four desert temples not too far from it. That's pretty cool. Literally here and there, you can see the base. It's right there. So literally all you have to do, if you're still in survival, before you leave, just simply make a compass. And then you just have to head straight to the desert area. Yeah, make a compass so that you can get back to your base and then just... Pew. You know what? I really should also turn coordinates on, don't you think? <laughs> this is what I should do. Settings. So first, let me go to the very first one. See, there's another, there's a bunch, oh, villages are pretty much always going to be pretty much everywhere now when they added them, which is cool, because it kind of gives uh, the worlds, these random spawning worlds, life. Okay, let's go to the very first one so you guys know which way to head, because once you find the first one, you'll be able to find the other ones because they're literally all in a line. I mean, that's pretty cool. You're starting out on the first survival playthrough. You've got literally four. See, because here's the first one. 
second one, third one, fourth one. They're really in line. That's awesome. Heading down. Okay, guys. So here are the coordinates for the first one. Once you find this one, finding the other ones is easy. Because you literally just follow them. Follow the line. Alright then. Like I said, it's a very good seed. It looks nice. Which they could have just thrown it into a any old place, but they actually put it in a really good seed, which I see a lot of potential for building and for a pretty cool survival playthrough. There's another decent sized village that way, so you'll have plenty of trade, plenty of things to explore. There's a, a pillager tower right next to that village that way. Let's hold it over here before we end the video, just to see what's over here and then we'll end it. Because I just wanted to get a quick look at the seed out there, see if there's anything cool that it has three desert temples literally really close to spawn. We got a witch hut. Size desert village. Ooh, I like this little island here. Oh wow, that gives me a lot of ideas for building. Ooh, I might do a couple builds on this seat myself. Okay, guys. Well, I'm gonna call it a day. See this? There's all villages are not hard to find anymore. They're pretty thick. Pretty thick. Oh wait, is that an actual complete pillager tower? All right. Next time I do one of these, I'll make sure to leave the coordinates on first, right off the back, and to do them automatically in creative, so that we can just instantly start flying around. Nice. All right, guys. Well, thanks again for joining me. I'm Average Arcader. We'll be doing a lot more uh, base review slash let's plays like this. Uh, we'll be a lot, doing a lot more of them in the future. Uh, so if you have any base mods you want us to check out for you let us know in the comment sections down below but if you've been enjoying the videos please leave a like share and subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification button so that you're alerted every time we do a video we're trying to do our best to keep you guys informed of cool things and review what you guys want to review we've got more games coming we're not going to just be doing minecraft forever <laughs> but our main thing is minecraft so if you are a good Minecraft player, you're going to need to keep, you want to stay tuned because we're going to be trying to take care of you guys. But until next time, I'm Average Arcader. Thanks for watching.